Hey guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing really, really good. Um, so let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine at this time. Let me plug my plug up here. My microphone, give me a second. I have my phone on the charge. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the divine masculine and divine feminine um please take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation okay it's not going to fit for everybody it's not going to be everybody's story um i have a couple decks i'm going to pull from here for you guys please remember to flip and switch the roles as they apply to your situation the karmic could pop up in the reading so you know i'll let it be known um really use discernment to see which side of the spectrum that you're on uh that you're on <laughs> i can't talk today man I've been having problems talking for a while now. But um what else was I gonna say? Yeah, so so the karmic and shit are probably gonna be popping up. They normally are. Hopefully they don't though. So let's not talk them talk about them. So let's see. Let's see for the divine masculine and the divine feminine spirits. What is going on? We have enthusiasm. They feel butterflies excited to be with you, tells everyone about you. Okay, divine feminine. Okay, so let's see for the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, what is going on. We have liberation. Love sets you free. Freedom to be who you are. Always exploring and learning. Yeah, so this person, I feel like your masculine feels like you are very, um, you make them feel free. You don't smother them. You give them their space. They feel like this love is like something that liberates them it just it doesn't because love is supposed to feel like a trap you're not supposed to feel trapped you're supposed to feel free you're supposed to be able to trust your partner enough so that way you guys can go on your separate go off on your separate ways and you know do different things outside of your partner you know what i'm saying so i feel like your person feels that way about you they can completely trust you here okay i don't know if it's the same for you guys because um they could have put you through a lot <laughs> i feel like you feel this way deep down but because of everything that they put you through, you're kind of like, you don't know. Okay, you need proof. But I do feel like there's a sense of trust that you have with your person. It's just hard to tell because of all the shit that they put you through. You know? What what else for the divine masculine and feminine? Short term, keeping you in the dark, not thinking. Long term, success wants instant gratification. Yeah, they, this is what they have been doing. And, um, they've been hiding. This is them wearing a false mask. Um, maybe just wanting things to be like you and this person to be a fling here. Um, wanting you and your person, um, I'm getting a message here. Yeah, I'm feeling like this is the karmic too. Things are short term with them. Something here was just a fling. Because they wanted to be free with this karmic. They wanted to be free. <laughs> they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. And this karmic let them do whatever they wanted to do. So they could do whatever. But they knew that it wasn't going to last with them. It was just a matter of time before something came crashing down. But um, yeah, they definitely been keeping you in the dark. We're going to clarify all of these. So let's see. What else for the masculine and the karmic? I mean, not the masculine and the karmic, the masculine and the divine feminine. Attachment, fear of loss, don't like being single, doing anything to keep lover. Okay, I feel like this is what your masculine is working through right now. They're healing their attachment issues, their codependency issues. They're not used to being single. They've probably been with this karmic for a long time and they were just comfortable in this toxic ass relationship. What else? best self connecting to higher self recognizing your faults inspired to become better yeah so this is what they're doing i feel like they're healing their inner child with this innocence card they're healing their inner child here okay it says triggers your inner child playfulness and teasing puppy love phase yeah so let's clarify these and see what comes out for you and your person here hmm Oh, excuse me, guys. So they're working through their childhood wounds right now. 
their fear of abandonment. Okay. As a twin flame, I have worked through mine. And I'm still working through mine. Okay. So let's see. Um, why is liberation here, spirit, for the divine masculine and divine feminine? Please give me clear, honest, and accurate messages. Allow me to channel any messages I need to deliver to the collective. Why is liberation here for the divine feminines and the divine masculines? Why is liberation here? Eight of Cups. Okay, walking away. Yeah. Then we have death. So... I feel like this person is really appreciating the fact that you give them time to heal or you've given them time to heal. I mean, a lot of you guys have been extremely patient with your divine masculine, like to the point where it's annoying you now. You're annoyed. <laughs> you're tired. I don't feel like for a lot of you guys, well, some of you guys can still be in the stage where you're just like sitting back waiting because we all had to go through that stage where you just like put your life on hold. But soon you move out of that phase and you start living for yourself and start seeing the bigger picture of the connection. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm picking up. I don't know why I'm talking twin flame energy. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's because um, when I get divine masculine, divine feminine, it just gives me twin flame. So for most of you, most of the people that I talk to are twin flames here. I'm going to have to just put twin flame reading or something when I start doing these here. Yeah, but um, anyways... So, yeah, so somebody here is walking away from things that are not serving them here. I feel like you're masculine. This is like them walking away um, because after the Eight of Cups comes the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. Okay, dreams coming true, um, things that you've manifested that are coming into fruition. So I feel like this person temporarily walked away from you to work on their you know, work on their shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, they needed to, first of all, free themselves from a karmic situation or karmic ties, friends, family, another, another lover or whatever, and, um, learn and start, you know, they, they needed to become independent because I feel like they were codependent or whatever that was. They're, they're learning that love does set you free. It doesn't make you feel trapped or stuck or controlled. It doesn't, that's not what love is. So I feel like you are their nine of cups, but they walked away from you because they needed to heal. They needed to really get their shit together. I mean, it's the way that they walked away that's fucked up and the way that they communicated that's fucked up. It's, it's good that they walked away to heal themselves, but it's the way that you do things. I feel like they're learning that as well. So let's see, why is liberation here? Why is liberation here, spirit, for the divine masculine, divine feminine? The five of pentacles. Yeah, I, f I feel like you're masculine or, or this is you guys. You guys feel left out in the cold right now. They really abandoned you or this is this um, energy of like feeling neglect or um, these abandonment issues coming into play. Okay, feeling left out in the cold, feeling used, feeling taken for granted. Okay. Yeah. Somebody's realizing that going into a relationship for money purposes as well is not love like that's not doesn't have anything to do with love okay and somebody could have been financially um going through hardships with their finances but they're realizing that you don't care about their finances you just don't want them to be bummy you want them to work and work hard this person is a hard worker but i feel like They've been in a mindset of lack for a long time. They've been very pessimistic with their life. And the person that they, they were with didn't help at all either. So I feel like they're just learning a lot about money and love and, and learning how to separate the two. It doesn't have anything to do with love. Yeah, their ego really got in the way. So let's see what else for liberation with the five of pentacles. We have the devil. Yeah, they had they had some type of toxic attachment or they're they're fighting their demons right now. I feel like both of you guys are um doing shadow work, okay, feeling really left out in the cold. Um somebody left this toxic person out in the cold too though. They feel free. They feel like they can come to you, towards you. I feel like this person just wants to run to you and give you kisses and hugs and just be with you because they're free from whatever this is. They left this person out in the cold. I feel that too. What else for liberation? 
but I feel like this is their, yeah, something here ended with the everything is fine card. They're learning how to, somebody here is learning how to work through their emotions and their feelings, okay? Because pretending like everything is okay is not really working out for them. Yeah, then we have the seven of pentacles. So this person here that they left out in the cold or could be either way, just flip the story how it fits for you. But if it's not fitting, don't stress yourself out. But um, there was definitely a harsh ending here, a betrayal. Somebody here sabotaged them. Somebody's very toxic, okay? Tried to keep them on a, on a chain and a leash. Somebody here had control over this person's finances or just control over their whole life, period. And I feel like, um, yeah, they left this person out in the cold. They just feel better, okay? Um, they're doing a lot of self-evaluating, looking at the things that they have um, invested into this that old connection and um, doing just some evaluation on themselves, their attitude, their ways, why they were put in the predicaments that they were put in. I feel like they're they're really working through their shadow side. Um, went from the five of pentacles to the seven. Yeah, I feel like their place of lack really put them here in this predicament, feeling like they don't have enough money or they were they were just, you know, broke at one time and they got with somebody that were that they were not seeing anything grow with. Maybe this person promised them that they were going to do something with their money or help them out in some type of way. They invested their money into something and now they're looking like, okay, where's my money or why is it not growing or what is even happening? <laughs> with with what's going on so it really made them take a long look at themselves especially after this betrayal here what is this devil energy could be dealing with the capricorn the queen of swords yeah now someone is setting boundaries okay setting boundaries i feel like this devil energy also is the queen of swords somebody that's very cold okay when they're represented in a toxic way they could be very cold very uh, cunning very nasty very vindictive and spiteful Okay, they're very controlling, very demanding. Yeah, and so this is what somebody was dealing with here. And this is who betrayed them. As your person betrayed you, they betrayed you for this person, it feels like. Um, yeah, so what is short term keeping you in the dark? Yeah, this person didn't want to tell you about their life. As you guys were getting to know each other when when you guys were in uh the um when you guys were not in separation they wanted something they thought that they wanted something short term because they were still dealing with this energy back here they didn't want to let you know about what was going on with them they didn't want to let you know that they were broke or didn't have money or whatever they were really stuck in their ego at that time um what else for short term spirit why short term here yeah, Page of Wands. This is them being very immature here. They came to you um, all passionate, and this person could be a little bit younger than you. So it looks like there's something coming in here. There's a message of good news coming in. Okay, this person here has kept you in the dark, but I feel like this something here is coming to light. What else for short term with this page of wands? The seven of swords. Yeah, something here is coming out. What else for short term? The seven of swords in reverse. Yeah, ten of swords. So something is coming out about this betrayal, about what this... I feel, I feel like this is your masculine's energy. They're going to be um, telling you what has happened or why they ran away. What was going on? Why things were so short term with you guys at that at that time? They wanted some type of instant gratification. They wanted to do things the easy way. They didn't want to go through the work. They didn't want to work through their ego. They didn't want to see what was keeping them stuck here. And it was it had something to do with money all along, I feel. I feel like because they didn't even want to be with this karmic. They were just with this karmic or was in a situation that was not even... It was a lose-lose anyway. And I feel like they're, they've realized that. Um, yeah, they're going to... This person is going to be telling you why they ran away. And it might be some, some good news. So let's see. Why is this page of wands here? This could be youth feminines. You're, um, maybe you guys are... <clears throat> you guys are probably dating. 
right now and are looking to start something new with someone else that's going to be short term because eventually you know your masculine is going to be back so it's going to be short term with whoever that you're dating but just be careful because some of these people are no good okay but since this is about you and your masculine this person it looks like there's a message coming in but um the ten of wands yeah so the shit that they were setting out to do or whoever it landed them here they got themselves into some shit that they that was just baggage this person was having to probably take care of this karmic or just was having a lot of responsibilities dealing with whatever this is this person i feel like they're going to tell you about what their obligations were why they kept things short term with you is because this person had too much to deal with they were carrying a heavy load okay this good news might make you feel a certain type of way okay you might feel like this person has a lot of baggage themselves but i feel like something here is going to clear the air what else for the page of wands and the ten of wands the empress yeah something about this person's baby mother or baby father but this could be you guys this is the divine feminine here um they, i feel like, i feel like this news is going to be about the fact that they see you as their divine counterpart now they didn't see it at first but it was because they were blinded by everything else that was going on in their life i feel like they see you as someone very caring loving compassionate i feel like this is what they're going to tell you here that they weren't thinking long term at first they were very immature okay they were just maybe on the rebound or something or didn't heal from their past experiences and i feel like they now see you as the divine feminine they see you as their counterpart they know that they they put a lot of heavy weight on you here they made you carry these burdens on your own but i do feel like this is going to be about something like a parental figure uh maybe a feminine energy in their life that um they had to take care of or they felt like they had to take care of okay what what is the seven of swords yeah the moon wow so we got seven of swords in reverse which is a secret coming out or um the betrayal coming out or something like that and then we have the moon <laughs> with secrets so what is the seven of swords in the moon the four of pentacles in reverse what is this moon ace of swords so yeah this person is going to come tell you the truth about what's hidden okay i, f I feel like they're going to have trouble speaking they're going to you kind of like got to let this person talk because um there are some things that they don't want to tell you but they they know that they have to tell you here about whatever this is this betrayal that happened this ending in their life or whatever came out or whatever's going to come out about why they betrayed you they they're going to kind of like be you know so let this person talk but ask questions though because if you don't say anything they're not going to tell you i feel <laughs> because they don't want to talk about it or they don't want you to look at them in a certain type of way but they need to really clear the air okay because i feel like they are going to let something be known here or betrayal has come out already but it's still some things that are kind of like hidden here you're gonna have to use your intuition to to really see what state of mind this person is in but there is going to be some honest communication or breakthrough in communication here there's going to be some clarity about something you're going to receive some clarity here i feel like your intuition yeah your intuition is going to be proven to be right so whatever you were intuitively thinking about this person you're right about it yeah with the the ace of swords and the moon here the intuition is correct and I feel like this is fear. This person is definitely scared to tell you what this is. Because it's already a, has, it's coming out, okay? They know, you know, you know about this already. It's coming out. It's here. They just have to actually communicate it. And I feel like they don't want to. They're scared. <laughs> They're scared to communicate it. Like, actually be face-to-face -to, -face to you or text you or whatever. They're even scared to do it through text. I mean, you know how it's easier to kind of like text somebody something versus having to look in their eyes or their face depending on what the situation is i feel like this is what they're scared to do but they know that they have to face you in order to, you know if they want you back 
that's just period but yeah they're releasing control here they're letting their guards down and finally going to tell you about what what this is or the type of pain that they've gone through within their life why they ran away from you what they were doing why they did it i just feel like that's coming out could have had something to do like i said with finances here i'm getting a lot of karmic thieves these these karmics are thieves they're gold diggers they marry for money so it could have something to do with their finances why they were penny pinching and things like that so let's see why is attachment here for the divine masculine divine feminines eight of pentacles yeah, this person had an unhealthy attachment to money, too. They really, really are money-focused. Your person really works hard here. Um, they try to bury themselves at work, yeah, to kind of, like, hide their feelings for you. But um, this is this is the, um, this is is the what this fear of loss is. They don't really want to lose you, but they don't know that they're doing things to lose you anyway. So it's not working out in their favor. They feel like um, this detachment that they have with you is going to keep you, but it's just making it's pushing you away because you don't have time for the bullshit. Like, speak your truth or get the fuck. And I feel like they are seeing that now, so they really want to work on the connection, really putting the time and dedication into you here, Empress. Okay, they really want to work on this connection with you. They can see that you're working very hard too. You're working hard, so you guys could be marrying each other. But um. They felt like some type of like their money has everything to do with their value here. And this is unhealthy, I feel. I feel like they're realizing that. But this is them wanting to, to dedicate their time and energy into this connection. So let's see. <clears throat> or working hard to kind of like bring you a gift or something. Because they want to provide for, me, for you. I feel like this person will really, really work hard for you. They'll give you anything that you need or want. They're willing to put in that work, whatever. They, they'll spoil you here. This person are, is definitely wanting to spoil you and put all their attention into you. What else for attachment? They want to see you like, they, they don't mind you staying at home, doing what you need to do at home, okay? Some of you guys already have businesses anyway that you can kind of like work from home and do. So that's even better, <laughs> you know, well, in my opinion, because I like to be home. So working from home just works for me anyway. But yeah, I just feel like this person wants to like the traditional thing. They are really willing to work hard. And I just feel like they won't um, abuse their position, okay? Because some people like to just be in control or just know what your every move is. I don't feel like this is that clingy type of love. I feel like you guys both set each other free, you know? So what is this? The Page of Cups, yeah. They really, they're trying to put together a message to write to you here or to tell you, okay? Um, this is them bringing you an apology and really expressing their love to you. Yeah, because they wanted to be single at first. But they, they don't really like being single. I mean, they put themselves in a predicament with this karmic where they were kind of like single, but they weren't because this karmic was still trying to have control over them. They possibly were still having sex with this evil ass karmic ill. I don't even want to think about that. But anyways, what what is attachment? What is attachment spirit? The emperor. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start doing twin flame readings, y'all, because this um, I, I channel a lot of twin flame energy and I feel like that spirit telling me to do twin flame readings because I do understand it on a different level. It's hard for me to explain it though. That's why I haven't started because it's hard to explain the depth of just, and, and then I'm very positive about my twin flame journey. I don't, I'm not one of the ones that kind of like, oh, I don't want my twin flame or I hate them or this and that. No, that's just not how I feel about my twin. I know what is going on. I see the bigger picture regardless of what has happened. Yes, betrayal has happened. Yes, you know, but I don't know. Everybody's twin flame is different. You know, my twin flame is very, um, <clears throat> he's a very I know his heart he's very caring and, and he's very giving he's like me we both do the same things it's just he was stuck in a karmic cycle and I was literally when we met I just was he I was really further along in my healing journey than when he was I was out of my karmic cycle with my karmic masculine 
I was just done with those karmic cycles and I was healing and I was further along in my spiritual journey. But anyway, so yeah, this, this person here is your true match now. They're coming in to apologize to you and express their emotions and their feelings. They're wanting to take action uh, towards you here because they want to put that work in for this connection. I feel like they've healed whatever child wounds, a ch a child childhood trauma, and they're ready to express their emotions here. They could still be a little bit emotionally... You're going to have to work with this person in that department because they're not good with expressing themselves. They they kind of like... um, Their way of communicating is different from you. What is this um, Eight of Pentacles? The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So, could be a strong Taurus here. This could be the same person. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? The Chariot. Yeah, so this is them coming towards you, Divine Feminine. They see you working hard. You're really a hard worker here. Um, they're just trying to get all their ducks in a row because they don't want to lose you here. I feel like they are... But I, I feel like they're codependent on you in a healthy way because they're raising their vibration. Even though codependency can be looked at in a very um, negative way, it is like toxic. But they are they're addicted to you here. They want to be with you. They want to add on to you because you already have you're already the Queen of Pentacles by yourself and the Empress. You have everything that you need here. I feel like you guys have worked through your abandonment issues as well because you guys are probably mirroring your twin flame. You guys are are mirrors, so I'm quite sure the same the problems that they have are the problems that you have, but they're just a different dynamic. Okay, your person was raised differently than you, but the toxic attachments or the wounds are still the same though okay they just came about in a different way you know if you guys can kind of like catch my drift but um yeah so this person here is coming towards you they see how powerful you are you're very determined you're very ambitious you are very um loving giving caring and they want to be able to give back to you here they want you to be their wife they want you to kind of like if you are that type of woman here <laughs> they, they like they like the fact some of you guys are really like housewife material okay i can vouch for that because i'm the same way i'd rather be a housewife as long as i have my own money i can make my own money i'm good please keep me at home <laughs> i like being in the home i like being able to do what i want when i want take showers when i want eat when i want do whatever the fuck i want when i want in peace i don't have to worry about nobody in my way trying to talk to me like it's just peaceful i don't mind being at home with kids you know it's it's just i don't know that's just how i am i'm a Taurus. So I guess that's just how we are. I have a Taurus sun and a moon. So with a Virgo rising. So I'm just very earthy. Just period. I just like the home. Okay. I feel grounded and stable at home. But anyways, yeah. So this person is coming towards you. They are coming towards you here with an apology. Okay. So let's see. Why is best self here? I feel like you guys are working hard too, Divine Femmes. Yeah, the fool. Yeah, someone's ready. Could be an Aquarius or Aries. Someone is definitely ready to take that leap of faith because they see where they fucked up at. They are. They're ready to take that risk. So that's nice. What else for best self? <laughs> Excuse me. What else for best self? The Eight of Wands in reverse. Excuse me. Um. Excuse me. Ooh, what's going on there? Okay. So I feel like this talks about patience here. They have kind of like slowed themselves down to kind of like. Ooh. <laughs> okay, y'all got hiccups. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, but um, so I feel like they they're trying they were um they're trying to be patient with themselves here because I feel like if they moved fast with you, they were gonna miss the mark with you. Okay, so I feel like this is them slowing down, being patient with themselves, and taking calculated risk. They don't want to just jump in or hop into things or come towards you in a, a immature way. So I feel like they they kind of like um 
are reevaluating their steps. I feel like they're working on their impulsive behavior. That's what I feel like this is because they could have been very impulsive. Yeah, with this full energy, just took any type of risk. But I see now you're teaching this person how to um, become their best self. You are. You're teaching them how that it's okay to take risk. You have to take risk because you won't get anywhere in life. But I feel like they're learning how to actually take those risks in a way where it's not stupid risk. Like they're not taking reckless ass risk. Okay. Because this is what they were doing here. This is why they ran away in the first place. Yeah, you're inspiring this person to become a better person and to handle things differently. Okay, what else for best self? The two of pentacles. Yeah, they're, they're learning how to become balanced here. They're learning how to... I feel like they're seeing how they can balance their finances with their love life now. So something here is coming into balance for this person. Okay. It is. What is this um, Eight of Wands in reverse? I feel like they cut off communication with you to become their best self. There's There has been delays in travel as well with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, Nine of Wands in reverse. What is this Eight of Wands with the Nine of Wands in reverse? Death, yeah. So this is what stopped the communication here. They're ready now with the fool. But with these clarifying the fool, they um I feel like this person is tying up loose ends here. They're still going through they're at the very end of their transformation process and they're becoming more balanced, but it's happening pretty quick though. It is happening quick, I feel. It's just their communication right now is, is you guys are not communicating. They're trying to get themselves back balanced before they come towards you yeah because you're their ten of cups and they want a victory with you with the six of wands wow and the lovers and the six of cups and the three of cups yeah look at all of this here wow yeah yeah so this person here they're 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 putting one foot in front of the other um but they definitely had to end something before they can take this leap of faith to become their best self they had to become their best self before they come towards you. They know that. And uh, something is coming into balance. They had to really um, stop beating a dead horse because they were really beating a dead horse with whatever they were dealing with here. I feel like they've completely given up on their person. They cut communication off with the karmic or just with people in their, their lives so they can transform properly. Because you cannot heal in the same place that people are causing frustration and uh, difficulties for you. It's just not working. So they had to completely let a situation go, I feel. Um, the Nine of Wands in Reverse also was giving me letting their guards down. So slowly but surely, they're letting their guards down because they were pretty guarded here. But I feel like they want to take things slow, too. They don't want to be all fast because they want something to last long with you. But I feel like it's inevitable. The, the inevitable is it's going to move fast anyway <laughs> because you two are meant to be together. So it's going to happen quickly. They, I feel like they've been trying to slow things up, but it's because they're they're healing. Okay, so whatever this is, it's fated to happen anyway. So let's see, what is this Two of Pentacles? Trying to figure out how to balance their um justice in reverse, Libra energy. What is this Two of Pentacles with the justice in reverse? Yeah, something here was unjust, or something here happened. The Two of Wands. <clears throat> Something here happened to someone's finances, okay, and now they're coming back into balance, but something here is definitely unjust or something wasn't fair and honest and truthful here. This also stands for karma, so in reverse, it's kind of like bad karma. So they've paid, I feel like they've paid off their karmic debt here, or they're, they're doing this now, they're paying off their karma, so that way they can uh, accumulate good karma. I feel like they're making wise decisions and choices Okay, what is this justice in reverse, though? What is this justice in reverse? The Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups. Yeah, so this injustice here has something to do with the third party, okay? Um, could have been friends that was, was causing injustice to this to your person here, or this could have been you. But it caused, it, it was, it was um, not just for you because of your person. You know what I'm saying? If you guys can get what I'm saying, your person was dealing with stupid people, which caused them to pull back from you, which caused an unjust for you. So basically a domino effect, whatever this is that happened. Um, 
Yeah, this is them offering their cup to a third party, it could have been. They offered their cup to a third party, which caused injustice. And now it's like they're finally coming out of this um, phase of um, dealing with this, this third party and wanting to offer you this love, wanting to reconcile with you. I feel like this is a third party too, trying to offer this person their cup of love, quote unquote, but it's going to be something here that's not honest here. It's not going to work out in their favor if they accept this cup. I don't see them accepting it. But let's see, what is the two of wands? The divine masculine, divine feminine. So future planning, making choices. What is this um, two of wands spirit? The seven of wands. Yeah, they're completely blocking out something from their past. They're standing up for themselves. They're defending themselves. Because the third party, like I say, it could be trying to offer them something. Or I don't know. But it's it's not something that's going to be good for them. And they know this. Which is why they're coming into violence. Because they're blocking things out. They're ignoring things. They're having the courage to stand up for themselves and fight for what they want here. Fight for themselves, first of all. First and foremost, you know. And then fighting for you second. Okay. So, yeah. This is what this person is learning really good reading i like this reading so what is the potential outcome spirit potential outcome what is the potential outcome temperance so reconciliation things balancing out um patience is needed with this person i feel okay patience is needed but i feel like things are going to be balanced back out what else for the potential outcome Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah. Finally coming out of solitude. Yeah, with the Four of Wands. Okay. So you and your twin flame coming together. Yeah, someone someone got in a situation where they were stuck in a family situation and a family dynamic. But um yeah, so with the four of swords in reverse, I feel like there's still some healing that needs to be done as well. Someone's still working through periods of of healing, okay. Yeah, so a little bit more patience might need to be had here, Divine Feminines. But um, the temperance does mean reconciliation. Let's clarify the temperance. What is the temperance card, Spirit? Please, for the outcome. What is this temperance card about? Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so this is them being hesitant about taking action or action not being taken right now. Okay. Let me see something. So I'm getting messages. So I feel like with this temperance card, this is you and your person blending y'all energies together, like coming together. I do feel that with that temperance card. Um, this Knight of Wands card to me is giving me... I don't know what this Knight of Wands is giving me. It's giving me uh, karmic vibes. What is this Knight of Wands in reverse? The sun. Then we have the tower. Yeah, so, so that's what I was feeling. This Knight of Wands here, they're being blocked by spirit. Whoever this Knight of Wands in reverse is, okay, they could be trying to... Because I, I felt like that was third-party energy to me. I just... I don't know. But this person here... Their actions are being blocked because somebody is now waking up to what who does not wants is in reverse. This could be the karmic energy that's trying to come in and cause chaos. But something here is um, illuminated here. Something here is going to be illuminated, okay? But if this is your masculine coming in, guys, they still need to do a little bit more healing. I, f I also feel like, too, this is what's... Uh, this Knight of Wands in reverse is this person actually coming out of this energy, not being a player anymore, not acting like this anymore. They're they're balancing themselves out really well because they know what they want to do with the Four Swords in reverse. This is them coming out of isolation, solitude. Yeah, coming out of a healing period to balance things out with you. That's what I'm, I'm feeling. I'm feeling like a lot of messages from that. But yeah, so something is going to be you're going to be happy with this person. OK, um. Because I feel like they're coming out of that phase of being this Knight of Wands in reverse. They don't want to be a player anymore. 
And that could also be this karmic here trying to come in between you and your person or trying to reconcile with your person. But I just feel like um, they're going to be blocked because your person is seeing who they are. So let's see. That could be, that can go a lot of ways. <laughs> Ultimately, I do feel like, you know, y'all need to be patient with this person or, you know, only if you want to, not need to be. But you guys get what I'm saying. If you guys want your person, be patient with them because they're still healing. But I feel like they are really coming up out of that phase. Okay, Spirit, let's pull some um, messages, messengers of the heart. Let's see what comes out of this deck. Spirit, guys, angels. Ancestors, Ascended Masters, why is, um, not why is, <laughs> uh, can you give me some more messages, uh, for the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine from the Messengers of the Heart deck? Let's see what comes out of this one. We want to pull some more cards. I'm so tongue-tied, man. I feel like a lot of these masculines are scared to speak or I'm just channeling somebody that can't really get their words out right. They stutter, they they're nervous so let's see why is um not why is i don't know why i keep saying that <laughs> i have a um i'm used to saying that so let's see overflow their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end yeah what else dreams they've been dreaming so much about you and want to manifest their dreams into reality okay Grieving. They're stuck in grief, unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change. This is flipped in reverse. If I would have picked this up, it would have been in reverse. So I feel, I feel like this is what they are coming out of, though. They're coming out of a grieving period. Okay. If I would have picked that up the other way, it would have been reversed. So they could still be grieving a little bit, though. That's why you need to have patience with this person. Unexpected. The answers you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you have moved on. Yeah, so some of you guys, I don't know. I don't know. For some of you guys, you might have moved on, but who knows. Yeah, then we have marriage. So there's something unexpected that's happening here. Soon. Breakthrough. They are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication really soon. Yeah, this person... Gossip. There's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that is affecting not only their judgment, but their vision, too. Yeah, they're they're ignoring this shit, though. I feel like this is what people are trying to do here. But they see the light, though. They see what this is. Yeah, because it's divinely guided. You have met your divine flame. Just allow. I mean, just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. Lack of faith. Leaving you out in the cold has been one of their biggest regrets, which has made them lose hope in the situation. Yeah, this is them being back and forth. <laughs> trying to plan. They're really trying to be strategic because they want to come to you perfect. They don't want to... Um, coldness. They feel you pulling away. They wish they can pull you back and convince you they're worth keeping. Yeah. Gesture. You can expect some kind of a gesture to help strengthen your connection. Give them a chance to prove themselves. Yeah. Then we have the fight. Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears fears of love. Yeah, this person is coming in, guys. Your person is coming in. We're going to pull signs to see um, what's significant here. The signs could be significant or this story could be for you guys that are watching this. Um, let's pull some love tea cards let's pull from this deck and let's see what the tea is in love with you and your person let's see what comes out of this one yeah <laughs> your person loves you so much they do you taught them a lot of things divine feminines we're usually the ones that are woke before the masculine anyway. It's very rare that the masculine is, is woke. So let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have blocked you. Yeah, some of you guys could have been blocked or you, you blocked this person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could have blocked this person. <laughs> what else? Or they, they probably blocked you. 
Then we have once their cake and eat it too. Yeah, this is what they were on in the beginning. They thought the grass was going to be green on the other side. What else? <laughs> Hiding something. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Accused. The car says cheating. So this this person so either they were with a third party and they cheated on you um i mean they were you guys were just dating but they were running around cheating on this third party because i, I wouldn't even call it cheating i just feel like they were um they weren't with this person but they had to they were kind of like forced to be with this person due to financial reasons or something or feeling obligated to take care of them when they didn't have to i also feel like this is third party energy too your person found out that the third party was cheating on them and they were hiding something from them and that they wanted their cake and to eat it too yeah then we have sneaky then we have take off so this is your person taking off from the sneaky ass energy this could be some of you guys okay because some of you guys could have really been with your twin flame like in a relationship but um i don't know that's not gonna be for everybody because it doesn't really happen like that sometimes it does but I feel like twin flames go through separation periods before they can actually be in a committed relationship. That shit is going to come crashing down anyways. Yeah, so what else? Disaster. Yeah, something here was a disaster. This is this tower moment here happening. <laughs> yeah, what else? Reminders. So this person is being reminded of you here. They're going through a lot of shit in their life. <laughs> but it's because of their fucked up behavior or things that they were refusing to see move on and confused yeah some of you guys could have moved on from this person already but then we have confused yeah <laughs> this person yeah, this person could have moved on to someone else and it left them confused because they're like, huh, did I make the right decision? No, you didn't. You didn't. What else? Well, this is you, Divine Femmes. You could be confused about moving on. Tracking location. Hmm. Someone someone could be watching you here. This karmic could have their... Um, I'm getting third-party energy with these cars, but this karmic could have a location on their car or their phone or something. Or they're tracking your every move. I want more moments with you. Amazing chemistry and promises. Yeah, <laughs> that's you and your person's energy. Yeah, you guys could have met online, okay? With affairs and connections. But yeah, this person here, this is you and your person's energy. They're coming to you to propose to you. Or they're coming towards you to actually be in a high level of commitment with you because you guys are twins here. You guys have the perfect blending of energies. You guys match each other's fly. You guys are very, um, <laughs> y'all love each other. That's just period. I feel like they learned their lesson though. That's their karma. That's what they had to learn in, their, in this lifetime about their ways. What else do I want to pull from? Oh, let's pull... Let's get some of these confessions. Let's see what these cards say. They're very blunt. Okay. I mean, blunt in a mature way, these cards are. They're not um too crazy. Let's see how I want to shuffle this. Because they are kind of... Okay. So, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, can you give me some messages from this deck, please, for the divine feminine and divine masculine? What do they want to say? Okay. Divine masculine or divine feminine want to say. Okay. Let's see here what we have. Right now, I'm struggling with addictive behavior. I don't know how or when to stop, and it's making things difficult for me, too. I need emotional support and better ways to express my frustrations about life. Yeah. They have some type of addiction or... 
like a, a attachment issues or codependency issues or abandonment wounds that they're trying to work through with their healing. Okay. What else? I am changing. I am not the same person I was when you met me. I don't know if I can be the person you need me to be, but I am here for you in every other way I can be. I see us moving in separate directions, but it doesn't mean I don't care about you still. Yeah, this is a separation energy. You guys have moved away from each other, haven't really been talking, and but they're changing though. They're letting you know that they're changing. They want to be a better person. They are becoming a better person for themselves and you, so you guys can come back together. Yeah. They do still care about you. They don't want you to feel like, you know, they're not talking to you because you're the problem. I feel like a lot of you guys know that, though. It says, you are my muse and what paints this black and white world with color. You are my sunrise and sunset. You bring me joy and bring me to life in a way nobody ever has before. I will travel through time and space just for one minute with you. Aw. These are such sweet cards. What else? What else? Spirit. I haven't always been the most financially responsible. I have debts to pay and I am working on bettering habits with my budget. I am worried I cannot support you or take care of you financially. I don't like talking about it because it makes me feel defensive and ashamed. Yeah, this person here has ha has been having financial problems. Okay. Yeah, most definitely. Hmm. Wow, that was a message for me. <laughs> Because, I, you know, I remember when me and my twin flame broke apart. That was one of the reasons why. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, this person wants to be able to take care of you. They are working hard just for you here, Divine Feminines. With the Eight of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Queen of Pentacles right here. They don't want you to do shit. They don't want you to have to work or do anything. They want to be able to do it. But they, I feel like they're doing too much, though. <laughs> just relax. Okay, I feel like they, they're definitely a provider. Your person is a provider. I love that. Oh, that's a turn on. Okay. It says, I am trustworthy. You can let me in and let me love you. I feel like you are very guarded and you keep me at arm's length. You play too hard to get and make me chase you. I feel like this is you to your divine masculine. I don't think that is fair. I like to keep life simple with no games. Be honest with me. You can tell me anything. Yeah, I feel like that's you guys, divine femmes. What else, spirit, for the divine masculine and karmic for this reading? I wish I could tell you this, but I don't know how. I am not very good at confrontation, so I have my feelings and just agree with you about most things so you don't get upset with me. I need more gentle questions and conversations. I need help opening up. Okay. Some of you guys could really be firecrackers, okay? <laughs> Your person could get scared with talking to you because you're very blunt. And um, I don't know. This person here is very sensitive. This is giving me water sign vibes. It could be a water sign. Well, spirit, I am so used to spending time doing things I want to do spontaneously that I fail to make plans a priority. Sometimes you can count on me, but sometimes you can't. It isn't your fault. I'm just unreliable. It's not intentional. I know it's wrong to leave you hanging. Yeah, this person here. Wow. <laughs> okay. I would die for you. You are you are that important to me. I am so happy that you are in my life and you have taught me how to love myself and better express love for others. You make me a better person and I don't ever want to lose you. You are my most special connection. Aww. At the bottom of the deck, it says, I want to show you how much I love you. I want to shower you with all, all of my attention and affection. Sometimes I don't get enough time away from all of my responsibilities to show you this, but my heart feels it. It may not always seem like it, but you are important. Oh my gosh, these were so beautiful. <laughs> Those cards were really, really nice. Okay, let's pull some signs. That was nice. Let's see what signs are significant to this reading. Then we're going to um, close out. Yeah, they're coming in to express their love for you, divine friends. <laughs> Your masculine does love you, but when you understand the journey, you will start seeing where i'm coming from when i speak so highly of it because i've learned a lot i really wouldn't trade my journey for the world i've really learned a lot from my masculine about myself what love is what it's not okay i've gotten closer to god i've gotten closer to my angels like 
a very empowering journey. So we have Jupiter and Capricorn, okay? Venus and Capricorn, a lot of Capricorn energy, that Earth energy I was feeling. What else? What other signs? Sun and Gemini. Venus and Gemini. Venus and Aries. Moon and Cancer. Yeah, they go them emotions. Sun and Sagittarius. Moon and Capricorn. Mars and Capricorn. Damn. Somebody here is a Capricorn. For real. Mercury and Aquarius. Sun and Libra. Yeah, Sun and Libra. Jupiter and Leo. Jupiter and Scorpio. Mercury and Leo. Rising sign and Taurus. Moon and Sagittarius. North node and Pisces. Mar Mercury and Pisces. Venus and Taurus. And North node and Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck, we have Mars and Leo. So those are the signs that are significant to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.